All right, so today we're going to build um, a classic game called Arkanoid. And Arkanoid is sort of like Pong, but it's for one player, okay? So uh, it's, uh, it's very fun. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a video just to show you what Arkanoid looks like, okay? So this is Arkanoid. I'll um, optimize for a video. So the game is all about you controlling this little, little um, paddle down the bottom of the board and you're trying to hit, hit a ball. Okay, so um, we are going to build Arkanoid. So first thing is we're going to delete our cat sprite. And then we're going to add two things, okay? First thing is we're going to add uh, our paddle. And for our paddle, I want you to search for uh, just button two, okay? Button two, you spell B-U-T-T-O-N, two. That is going to be our character. Looks like this little pillbox shape. And if my sound cuts out, uh, again, feel free to raise your hand and let me know, okay? All right, so here is uh, our pillbox. This is going to be our Arkanoid player. Second thing we want to add is a ball. Okay, so here we go choose another sprite. And we click on ball. So now we have our ball and our Arkanoid uh, player down here. Okay. And for the background, you can choose any kind of background you want. But for me, I want to make this a retro style game. So I'm going to choose a background, a backdrop that looks a bit retro, maybe like a space neon tunnel kind of backdrop. But I, like I said, you can have your uh, Arkanoid game, any kind of design you want. I'm going to make mine a neon tunnel in space. So uh, our ball and our button. Now I suggest that you create the ball a little bit smaller. So for the ball, I suggest the size is at around about mm, 60. And for the button as well, I want to change it to about size 60 as well. That way it's going to give us a little bit more challenge and it's going to give us a little bit more room to move. You to put the ball, um, uh, actually, I want you to put the ball just above your Arkanoid, but not touching your Arkanoid. Very important that it's not touching Arkanoid, okay? So for me, my Y value is about minus 119. So that should be around about where you put your ball if you have it at size 60. Okay, so you have your Arkanoid, which is your button two. Make sure it's at size 60 hanging around the bottom of your screen. And also your ball is hanging around just above your Arkanoid, but not touching it. Now that's really important because in a moment, we're going to add some uh, logic to make it so that uh, when it touches our, um, our Arkanoid, it bounces. So we can't have it start off touching, otherwise it's gonna cause all sorts of errors, okay? So three things we've done, we've added a backdrop, We've added a button, size 60, down the bottom center of the screen. And we've added a ball, size 60, in the bottom of the screen, but just above the Arkanoid so that we're not touching. Very important, can't touch. All right, let's give some basic logic to our button first. So make sure you click on your button, button two, so that two things happen. Your button has highlighted so that there's a blue frame around it. And there's a picture of a faded out button on the top right of your coding area. That means that you have your button selected. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to add an event. We want this button to move around using our mouse, but only the X value, only the X value. So when the, when the flag is clicked, uh, actually, does anyone want to um, 
suggest how we do this code. I want to make it so that the button follows the X axis of my out mouse so that it moves around sideways only, but not up and down. You can just go set X to, okay? Set X to, and then we go down to uh, sensing, and then we put in mouse X, okay? And then we put that all in a forever loop. So here we go forever, and then mouse X like that. Okay. All right, now when you press the flag, you'll see that your arcanoid is now following your mouse, but only the X position. So now what we want to do is create um, uh, some code for our ball, okay? For our ball, we're going to create an event when flag clicked as well. After the flag is clicked, we want to uh, have the ball point to a random position. There's a, uh, a, a block here that says point in direction. And then all you have to do is change the, um, the 90 to a random number. Okay, so we go pick a random number using operators pick a random number, and then we go one to 360. And then also what we want to do is move it to uh, this center position as well. So go to four, uh, uh, go to X, Y. And then if you've already had it, have it in the center position, it should start in the center position. Now, finally, what we want to do is wait for about two seconds. And then we're going to do a forever loop to have it start moving. I think you needed to go to motion and then you go into, there's this thing called, if on edge bounce. Fantastic, that's good, that's good, very good. So there was one more little thing. What we need to do is also make it move as well. So inside the motion, up the very top, we have move some steps, and then we move, say, five steps. We click on the flag, and then you'll see that the ball is going to wait a little bit and then start bouncing. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that if the ball reaches, say, um, the Y direction is less than 160, then we lose the game. So if on edge bounce, and then also we want to add an if then block inside this forever loop. And then we're going to say if the position, the y position is less than minus 160. So we need to have a less than block. So we need an if, if then block and then a less than block. Less than block is this arrow pointing towards the left, okay? And what, what did we say we needed to be less than uh, this number? It needed to be the Y position. So we go into motion. And then we scroll down to Y position. We put Y position in here. Y position is less than minus 160. If the Y position is less than minus 160, then we just go into control and then we go stop all, which means that the whole game will stop. Let's try that. Oh, see, once the ball hits the bottom, it stops the game. Okay, so that's good. But now we want to make it so that if we touch the, um, the arcanoid, we bounce. Now this is a little bit trickier, okay? So make sure we are 
following closely. Who needs more time to get, get up to this point? Who needs more time? No, everybody's good. Raise your hand if you need more time, okay? Good, okay, no problem. There's a few people who need more time, that's okay. I'll give you another two minutes to make sure that you have all the code ready. And you can test your code, you just press the flag and then you'll see that after a couple of seconds, the ball will start moving. Sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes up, right? But when it goes all the way down, it's going to stop the game because you lose. I know how to do the code. All right, let's uh, suggest how, how we do it. You first grab a if then block and then Go to sensing. Mm -hmm. Go to sensing and like grab the first, the first block. If touch touching mouse pointer and then change the mouse pointer to button two. Good. And then go to motion. Go to motion. Mm -hmm. and, and grab a turn of fifteen degrees. Yep. No, the other, the other one. Yep. The, the other one, the other way. Oh, this one. Yeah, and then uh, make 15 into 200 degrees. Uh, okay. And then grab a move 10 step and change it into your move five steps. Ah, uh, good. So instead of, um, um uh well actually that that does work but uh, if i if i do the move um that 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 still has potential of colliding with myself but that's excellent uh what you've done so what we can do is change it to 180 degrees um to make it go straight back and that's that's fantastic ian by the way excellent excellent maths because 180 degrees is exactly half of a circle right which is uh turning the ball back to where it came from. And then what we can do is we go um, uh, and set the Y value. So set Y to, and then we put in uh, the value that it started off at. So minus 119 for me. Remember that was the value that it just, does, uh, it just misses the arcanoid and just doesn't touch it. So that's the degrees we want to change it to. So if you try it now, you should be able to see that the ball bounces away from your arcanoid. 